Welcome to another Tech Edu Tips video. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some security tips over the next few weeks, months. Um, I've had some requests come in for that. And one is changing your Wi Fi password. Uh, one thing people think is that um, their Wi Fi password is secure. If, um, and they'll go to the point of, I'm not going to tell you what my Wi Fi password is, I'm going to type it for you on your phone. But actually, Anyone can look it up inside their phone. They can display the plain text password of your Wi-Fi network. So basically anyone who's ever been on your network has the ability to um, share that network with someone else. So it's a good idea to change it once in a while. And there's lots of reasons for changing your Wi-Fi uh, name and password. Uh, but I'll go through this here. So uh, there's a good uh, article here on How to Geek, uh, Chris Hoffman, about how to change your Wi-Fi's network name and password. He goes through the details. He'll tell you how to look up. Basically, you want to find out what the address of the gateway that you're connecting to. Um, and he gives an example on Mac, and he gives an example on, um, on Windows. So I could demo that here. I'll just you know type command and type ipconfig. And so the default gateway, there's two network adapters on my computer here. The default gateway according to this is 192.168.1.1, which is actually my router, my internal network router. I'm not gonna show that, um, but I'll show you what happens if I go to connect to what is the router that came with my internet service, which actually I, I'm not using. Um, I'm using a, an internal uh, router inside of that um, but that's not, neither here nor there. So let's pretend that your um, gateway was this, 192.168.0.1. It could be this, it could be 1.1, it could be 10.0.0.1, like in the example that Chris is showing here. Um, these are internal IPs, which means the outside internet does not use these. These are network uh, um, addresses for just your internal network. So you'll get to a login screen like this. Another hint is you should probably change the password because it's probably just admin with password admin or admin with no password. Um, and I changed the password on mine because again, if someone is on your network, they could go to this address on their computer or on their phone and mess around with your Wi-Fi settings. Um, so here's the basic setup. Your router is going to be different depending on your provider and what you're using, but it'll more or less look like this. And you're going to look for wireless 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. These are different bands. Um, 5 can be faster, but it doesn't go as far through walls. Sometimes people have both up. Um, in, in some modern routers, it allows you to use the same SSID, your network address, on both. What I would do for a test is I'd label the 24 or 2.4 gigahertz as one and then the five gigahertz. And then the, this, this shared password, that's just, that's the password. You can go to the details. So if I go to say the wireless 2.4 gigahertz page here, um, I could go into a whole bunch of things. So actually my wireless is disabled on this router because I'm not using it, I'm using my internal one. And you can broadcast the network ID, which means people can see it. If you hide it, then people can't see it so easy, but it's not really making it that much more secure. And then your security mode. I highly recommend choosing the most secure mode you can, um, which is probably WPA2, PS, KAES. Um, you don't want it to be open. You don't want WEP, which is really, really old technology. You might need to go back, depending if you have some hardware that's not connecting well, but probably just choose the default. Set the password apply this and then you're good to go if you want to change the name of your network go ahead um, it's a good idea to have a very generic name in general not a very unique id um, because then that kind of exposes um, where you live um, to people who can see these addresses out on the internet so generally just have a unique id um, it, you don't want to be too creative there i don't put the name of your family in there um, put something that's not really visible and, and not exposing information because anyone driving by your house can see this network name. Um, and that's it, apply that, and you have changed your um, Wi-Fi password um, and possibly the address. There's other things you might wanna do when you're in here, um, I'll go through that later, but you probably wanna change your password on your router. Um, like I mentioned before, 
and I should probably do a separate video of that. So thanks again. Um, I highly recommend you do change your password fairly often because everyone who has access to your network can share that access to the network. Um, there's some other tools you can use to um, lock things down, but this is the basic tool that anyone should be able to do. One thing I will mention is um, you don't want to lock yourself out of your own network. So please, uh, if you're going to make a really crazy password um, for your login ID for this service, right, uh, you want to use a password manager like I do. I'm using Bit Bitwarden. Uh, I did a video about that, and so I recommend uh, keeping track. Um, if worse comes to worse, you can just reset the modem or reset the router, and there's a way to do that. Um, you can look that up for each of the modems you have. Uh, but you probably don't want to be messing around and, and taking the network down for your entire family. So uh, this isn't hard, but it's uh, you just got to be a little careful. If you're changing passwords, make sure you remember what they are. Again, Bitwarden made a video about that. Thank you uh, for watching. Uh, continue sending me comments and uh, suggestions for more videos. Thanks.